So I mean, might as well talk about what what, what that actually means. Like, I mean, your, your iPad example is great. That in, instead of actually creating uh, actual physical objects, everything becomes software. Like everything becomes yeah, yeah. software, and so that's when the internet really joins everything. Yeah, that's when atoms and information. You know, everyone's always yeah. talking about oh, there's... it's separate economies yeah. and all of that. But now it's they're separate. joining. That's it. And then that'll be the full merger of it. That's it. Yeah, the nanites and stuff are they're they're the joining of it all really. Yeah. That, that's like the final, the big step. I mean, because then you get into the lovely grey goo. You get into like you know that's where you can start turning the whole planet into more yeah. processes, uh, processing power, not processing, and uh, further and further and further. So yeah, and I, 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 sorry. And, oh, sorry. And, and from that level, you can program life as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's it. If you can build stuff, why not I mean, actually already, build life? They're already, Organic printers. They're already working on that, but it's, again, it's, it, yeah. they're, they're literally just working on, okay, let's program the DNA, print it out, put it into a cell, and the cell will repl self-replicate for us. We yeah. just have to work out how do we do that, how do we get from, you know, this atom, all these atoms that we have to make this yeah. that we want to make. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, well, it's, it's the stepping stone. Isn't what the, um, uh, the singularity is here is it's, near it's been a while since i read it but mm. the revolution is the the next month the biotech one and then after that there's biotech the nanotech. uh robotics Robo oh yeah well, it's then biotech then nanotech. yeah then, yeah that's right yeah, yeah so it's, it's, it's kind of cool like i mean because <laughs> yeah that's just the beginning like we're saying printing an ipad but that's going to be so seen as yeah. so laughably quaint and that's when like, well, we're printing life, bitches. And that's when things like copyright have to be dead and gone. Oh, they would have been for quite a while. Like I, I love the, the movie. I've said this joke before, but I, they, they say on the movies and stuff, you wouldn't download a car. It's like, well, I really would if, if I you could. could. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason why I wouldn't. Bloody hell. Especially if it's like free and yeah. Because that's the other the brilliant thing of um, nanotech factories where things are essentially um, combined and made using nanotechnology is they use like a fraction of the energy and a fraction and have literally no um, waste mm. yeah there is well, no that, waste there's no waste you're if you just can arranging actually rearrange things atom by atom yeah. you don't waste any atoms I mean if you have byproduct atoms you just put them back into another process yeah do you it's brilliant think it would last for a long time because I mean the obvious thing is once you have these clouds that you can start creating anything the obvious thing is you'd start turning as much as possible into more um, <laughs> computational power Grey goo scenario? Well, it's not really... It's a semi-type of grey goo. Like, grey goo is just, you know, just turning everything into itself and it collapses on no intelligence. But if you got them all, I think the <laughs> oh, actual... Geez. So, like, an intelligent grey goo. It, that yeah, knowingly it, takes over but and that, destroys that, that the is what, Well, that's what the singularity is all about, that you're creating as much computational power as possible. You're turning Maybe. everything into a lie. I, I see, this is where... I'm, I'm not sure. This is where it gets weird, that if we'd actually... I think as soon as that's there, that that's just a massive exponential growth, because then... That would just be everywhere, just all at once. It'll be all connected, because why have separate clouds? Why not have the clouds all over the sky together? Like, have it all there. You'd change the weather, you'd... So just everything's... Magic. Like... <laughs> I mean, er the, everything is already connected. Connected, yeah. Like, yeah. everything is already atoms. It, it, they're just arranged in a certain way. See, yeah, because what we're actually saying with this is you could arrange individual atoms. And I mean, yeah. the, to even start to begin this, this is this is far... In well, the, one of the... Um, the Okay, translate. One of the, the final, I guess, uh, theoretical like potentials of this is if we have bits of BCI technology and can interact with these nanobots, we can literally just <laughs> fuck you, train. <laughs> we can literally just think of what we want and have it automatically it there. display and arrange for yeah. us. Just so you, our brains will be remorphing our entire environment. Yeah. as it'll, we wish. It'll be merging with the uh, well, like you know, have that the HUD overlay and stuff. Yeah, and that is. Fucked up. This is where, like, it's it's a big thing that a lot of people speak about. Like, there's a lot of stories about it and things. Yeah. But the, of... the amount of change, I don't think it's even possible to begin what it would cause. Yeah, you, you shouldn't really... And it's fucking scary. Yeah, it's great. Like, that could be, <laughs> that could be the end of everything. Oh, this is, this is going to be a major turning point. Because, like, you know, there is the big grey goo thing there. And there is just the yeah. pure computational power, which... It isn't bad, but... Uh... Well, there is the argument that, um... Much like we have antivirus for our, you know, computers and stuff, we'd have like an immune system nanobot mm. thing essentially wrapping around the earth. So if there is any danger of any existential so I, type I risk, it would. Yeah, I've heard it. that before, but I don't think it's. I don't think there's a way to stop it. I mean, like it's. What, why would there be? Because that mm. the knowledge of how you'd create that would also be a part of the nanites and the things. And so yeah, but knowledge is instantly shared in this environment. Yeah. 
So then they'd know how to get around it straight away. I mean, we are... It's yeah, but then you instantly totally... come up with something that... It's much like how an antivirus works now. Just just apply it to nanobots. Yeah. Like, a virus is leaked onto the internet. It's, it tries to spread as fast as possible. But, but I then the, I... the antivirus actually try and come up with faster ways to stop... But that's them. only because we have, like, firewalls. We have ways of actually preventing things of getting into the computer. Whereas we're talking, like, actual physical objects getting on stuff. And then it's doing it there. But I mean, how, how could you actually, in a physical world, stop something coming up and rearranging? Oh, well, maybe electrical You have an immune system. Much yeah. like our body has an immune system. Yeah. The pathogen goes inside and instantly recognizes it and tries to attack it and stop it. Yeah, true. Well, that, that's the, the cancerous and, stuff, and I guess, like grey goo constantly. and stuff. Yeah. Like the whole vaccine, the whole point of vaccines, our, our bodies learn. That our body has an immune system. You'd, yeah. you'd have to have the same sort of thing created yeah. to actually survive through this yeah no i i could understand that the, it'd probably happen that you'd get um like as much computational stuff and all of that and then it would look for probably uh, protections against the gray goo thing of like creating this awesome yeah. idea that tries to replicate throughout it i guess gray goo is like analogous to cancer <laughs> I, I'm, I'm serious it's it's i think it's a pretty good example actually yeah because cancer like you know just multiplying until it kills the host organism i mean that would be the same with like gray goo that like say the planets just become you know one ball yeah. of computational power there's this one thing that has been created that's just replicating as much as possible and then it goes yeah big question is do you think this will actually happen in our lifetimes I, I think so <laughs> but I, I don't think it'll be like in our house and stuff or even pro even with the 3D printers and stuff like it, it, it'll yeah. probably take another path that we just don't see yet and it'll be like very quick because I mean just think as soon as the first person's created like the nanite cloud that can create stuff within a few days everyone would have it mm. it would just go there you'd have it if the distribution network's good enough so I guess we kind of just need to if it is actually going to happen in our lifetime fuck yeah and then, <laughs> and then we need to like plan for it like a lot, yeah. there are a lot of organisations out there that are actually planning for this already yeah it's, it's going to be trying to happen <laughs> very quick like a lot of, they've actually been, you know, I think some of the, the high end people have actually been consulting the US government mm -hmm. and the, queen the military and stuff. Goo. Did you know yeah. that? <laughs> the queen. Because they know, they know we can potentially do it. <laughs> I am your queen. <laughs> like John Stewart. You yes, remember. I love him. <laughs> so yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty it. Yeah, I think that's about it. That's, uh, yeah. I'm going to sleep with weird dreams tonight. <laughs> Oh man, Grey Goo attacking yeah. my mind. Been yeah. looking at it a bit today, but not analysed it for a while. So. <laughs> Be fun. So you guys, leave your thoughts uh, in yeah. comments Thanks and any comments. questions you have for us. Yeah. Catch yeah. you guys next week. It's I'm Nathan great. Waters. I'm Tristan Grace. Woo! In High 45, episode 20 foul. <laughs> 20 foul. 20 foul. For sure. Bo shizzle. The whitest gangster. <laughs> <you know. laughs>